Trimble GCS 900 version 12.4 includes a new feature called Lane Guidance that is especially useful in the early stages of a project where the machine operator may want to ignore curbs, sidewalks, or ditches that will be completed in later project phases. Let's take the example of a dozer operator who is working on a road project. As you can see here, the 3D design shows a shoulder or ditch off the side of the roadway, but at this phase of the project, that area is still being used as part of the haul road. The ditch and shoulder will be cut in at a later project phase. The operator can ignore the ditch by using GCS 900 lane guidance functionality in one of two ways. In the first scenario, the operator can place the dozer blade on the lane he wants to grade to, then select the Lane Guidance Soft Key. The in-cab display uses the 3D design under the focus point of the blade to automatically extend the surface to the left and right. You can see the focus point here as the red dot shown on the dozer blade. The operator can now work to the newly extended surface while ignoring the design slope and depth of the ditch to be built later. Or, in the second scenario, the operator can press and hold the Laden Guidance soft key to create a surface between two existing grade breaks in the design. I will just select one grade break point here and the second here, then hit OK. And as you can see, the in-cab display automatically extends the surface between those two points, giving the operator a new surface that also ignores the ditch. Using either of these methods, the operator can work on the surface he needs now without modifying the 3D design to remove the ditch.